As you probably already heard, October is Breast Health Awareness Month. They used to call it Breast Cancer Awareness Month, but I think a lot of people thought, me, think about cancer this month? I don't think so. So they worked in the term Breast Health Awareness Month so that more of us would think proactively about taking good care of ourselves instead of being scared of the word cancer. So October is the month where you see lots of 10Ks, lots of mobile mammogram units, and lots of fundraising efforts in an attempt to raise more money for breast cancer research, but also to encourage women to have regular mammograms. Between the ages of 35 and 40, your doctor is going to recommend that you have a mammogram. The thought is still out on which how old you should be when you go, so you'll see them recommended anywhere in that range from 35 to 40. However, in our specialty, breast augmentation, Dr. Tebbets wants every woman who's thinking about changing the landscape of her breast, whether it's an implant, a mastopexy, or a breast reduction, to have a baseline mammogram, 30 and older, so that there's a clean, pretty picture of the breast before we operate on that breast. That way, when it's time for you to have regular mammograms, there's a clean, pretty picture, or that baseline, to compare back to. We always recommend that our patients not only send the report to us, their plastic surgeon, but also send it to your ob or your internist as well. That way, your records are kept in more than just one place. It's just good business. I think mammograms have gotten a really bad rap over the last several years, maybe all their lives, everybody's always heard how terrible a mammogram is. I had my first mammogram before my implants 14 years ago and I was scared too, but honestly it was really nothing. I think it's more of a mental thing because you worry about having to bear it all to some stranger and then having them push and pull on you a little bit. I mean it's awkward, um, you feel a little bit vulnerable, but it's certainly not painful. And if you get a good tech, they make you feel really comfortable and at ease and in no time, I mean literally 15 minutes, it's over. So 15 minutes of awkward to save your life? Yeah, I think that's worth it. So don't let the rumors scare you off because it's really not that bad. Now once you have breast implants and you hit 40, then you'll have to go have a mammogram every year. And a lot of times I think patients are scared to have the test done with implants. They're worried about what a mammogram might do to their implants. Don't let that scare you either because again, it's really nothing. They'll do the regular mammogram views and then they'll also do something called the Eklund technique or the, the mammogram techs often call it pushback views. It's literally where they're taking the regular views of the mammogram and then they're pushing your breast tissue away from the implant so that they can image around the implant. A radiologist needs those views to truly get a good picture of what your breast is like because neither saline or silicone implants are radiolucent. You can't x-ray through them, so they have to image around them, and that's what those pushback views allow them to do. I think the most important thing about having a mammogram with implants is that you have to tell them you have implants. A lot of times they don't know, and you'll write it on your intake paperwork, but be sure you tell the tech when you meet her as well so that she's very well aware that you do have breast implants and can do the right test for you. Obviously, mammograms are used to detect breast cancer, but if you have breast implants, they can also give you a sneak peek at how your implants are doing too. So whenever I go in for my regular screenings, I always pray that there's no hint of breast cancer, but I also hope that they can see the edges of my implants and see an intact breast implant too. So keeping up with your regular screenings is also important to your breast implant health. So this month when you see all the pink ribbons and you see the 10Ks going on and you see those mobile mammogram trucks, let those be an inspiration to you. Don't let them scare you call and make your mammogram appointment today. If you'd like to learn more about breast augmentation, breast implants, and breast health, visit our website, thebestbreast.com.